Hi guys, and good to see you in March. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Win Bellevue Commons. This episode is going to be my March market update for all Bellevue and all East Side locations only. 2023 calendar flipped, real estate market flip as well. Available homes started to be declined and now multiple offers become more common. We all hope inflation going to be improved and if inflation improve, interest rate is going to be decreased and homes going to be more affordable for a lot of people and we're going to have more listings on the market than we do have today. But we'll see what's going to be happen in second half of 2023. But beginning of 2023, I was shocked with the market because I was hoping to get a lot of listings on the market, but looks like those sellers, they tend to hold properties and doesn't like to list properties and doesn't want to put them on the market yet and we have very tight inventory in the market right now and before we jump into data i want to show you guys what's happening with the mortgage interest rate you guys can see with me on the screen freddie mac data the mortgage rates for last 90 days become to be more stable it's not increasing any longer but it's jumping like up and down it's between 6.25 percent to 6.75 percent and currently about 6.7 percent for serious fixed mortgages. This slide shows months of supply of inventory for King County and Snohomish County and those of you guys who follow me on YouTube and uh, subscribe to my channel. You guys remember last month I recorded video for uh, seller market update and east side market update. You guys can see so we have changes and only balanced market we have currently in West Bellevue and Mercer Island. Other areas where you guys can see this orange color it's a seller's market territory with less than two months of supply. On east side in all areas Yes, we have 1.1 months of supply of inventory with medium sell price $1,340,000 and decrease for 21% year over year. Ouch! It's a big decrease. It's about 21%, it's about $260,000. In some states you can buy whole house for $260,000, but, and that's what we have in Seattle East Side locations. In Seattle East Side, 17% homes sold above asking price, seven and asking price, and 28% homes did price reduction before they able to sell the property. And they reduced price for about 4%. That's about $54,000 from the sell price. And people who pay over asking price also pay about 4% over asking, also pay about $53,000, $54,000 over asking price to buy this property. So what does this data tell? me why some people sell an above asking price for like four percent and some people have to do price reduction or reduce price for four percent i think because property wasn't priced right uh, from beginning and maybe it wasn't prepared right from beginning so some sellers uh, have to listen to the real estate broker and if you guys need any help reach out to me i will be allowed to be a real estate resource if you're planning to sell the property i can help you sell and i will tell you what you need to do to get top dollars for your home and this slide will show you guys market absorption for east side locations for example in west bellevue we have right now 44 active listings in the market and we have about 20 new homes about 10 properties were sold last month and we have about 13 pending sales in West Bellevue. You guys can see we have more than two months supply of inventory in West Bellevue and that's where we in a balanced market, not in a seller's market in this location. But if you look for East Bellevue, for example, we have 37 active listings on the market and 37 new listings on the market with 35 sold homes and 35 pending properties. We have less than two months supply of inventory. We more in a seller's market where the houses sell in faster within 30 days on the market. For example, this house was listed on the market only for 19 days in Bellevue and sold for $1,275,000. It took about 19 days to sell this property, but because they did a really good job to prepare the property and property was sold fairly quickly. Property did not stay on the market longer than 30 days. That's why it's important to prepare property, to work with the great agents. And if you guys need any help, reach out to me. I can help you to prepare your property for sale and sell your property for top dollars. With that, guys, have a fantastic week. Enjoy your spring. Until next episode.